Welcome to English Practice Every Day. This visual practice series is for intermediate to advanced learners. One ability that non-native speakers lack is to describe what they see in simple English. Non-native speakers find it difficult to associate what they see in the outside world or real world with English words and construct sentences out of these visuals. This difficulty is because their learning is mostly through books or listening to English speaking audio while they sit on a chair inside a classroom or in front of a screen. Going outside the classroom and having an actual conversation about what you see around you or what you think about the outside world or what you feel about the outside world is difficult for non-native speakers. This video series will work on solving this problem. My attempt here is to encourage you to associate the real outside world with the English language in your head. I encourage you to talk to yourself when you go outside and try to describe things to yourself. As a non-native speaker, it is essential for you to understand the outside world and describe it in simple English. In this video series, we will see visuals, photos and videos, and we will learn how we can describe the outside world in simple English language. This visual practice video series will help you acquire new vocabulary as well as hold a good conversation on any topic outside the classroom. Yes, you will watch this video series inside your room, but I encourage you to go outside and practice what we learn in these videos. Let's start. See this short video. What do you see? Now please speak out loud with me. At first glance, I see a flower. At first glance, I see a flower. I see a yellow flower. I see a yellow flower. I see a yellow flower with five petals. I see a yellow flower with five petals. I see a yellow flower with five petals with few water droplets on them. I see a yellow flower with five petals with few water droplets on them. I see a yellow flower with five petals quivering, meaning moving back and forth quivering meaning moving back and forth with the wind i see a yellow flower with five petals quivering meaning moving back and forth with the wind see this second video what do you see i see a yellow flower i see a yellow flower I see a yellow flower with one broken petal. I see a yellow flower with one broken petal. I see a yellow flower with one broken petal hanging by the stem. Hanging by the stem meaning base. Stem meaning base of the flower. I see a yellow flower with one broken petal hanging by the stem meaning base of the flower. I see a yellow flower with one broken petal hanging by the stem meaning base of the flower quivering meaning moving back and forth quivering with the wind I see a yellow flower with one broken petal hanging by the stem meaning base of the flower quivering meaning moving back and forth with the wind Now see this third video what do you see i see a human hand holding a yellow flower i see a human hand holding a yellow flower i see a human hand holding a yellow flower and touching the petals of the flower with another hand i see a human hand holding a yellow flower and touching the petals of the flower with another hand 
I see a human hand with a golden ring in the middle finger holding a yellow flower. I see a human hand with a golden ring in the middle finger holding a yellow flower. I see a human hand with a golden ring in the middle finger holding a yellow flower and another hand with a golden ring in the forefinger touching the petals of the flower. I see a human hand with a golden ring in the middle finger holding a yellow flower and another hand with a golden ring in the forefinger touching the petals of the flower. I see a human hand touching the petals of a yellow flower with the thumb and forefinger. I see a human hand touching the petals of a yellow flower with the thumb and forefinger. In this manner, we can go on describing what we see and along the way build vocabulary, as well as learn to create long and complex sentences out of simple sentences. Please go through this video one more time in order to understand how we describe what we see and create simple sentences out of our description. Once again, this video series is focused on making you understand the outside world, making you capable of describing the outside world and making you capable of holding conversations on various topics outside your classroom. Please keep practicing what you have learned in this video in your daily life outside your room or your classroom. We will do more such visual practices in upcoming videos. Bye for now.